edge the beds, <clears throat> give this lilac a trim, keeping the shape that it is, just a tiny bit of a trim. Prune out the blossoms out of this hydrangea. Give those shrubs there a little globe shape. Any of the dead wood through these two Japanese maples and the one in the backyard, prune that out. Edge, edge, edge. Uh, these are these were not pruned back last year, so I think you just prune them right to the ground with the hedge trimmer. Uh, these three bushes give them a bit of a haircut. Haircut on the use back there. Not much going on here other than a bit of a haircut. Whole garden needs to be weeded out. Give this bit of a buzz. Globe shape that boxwood there. Vertical trim on the uh, cedars here. Watch for birds' nests. So this is all getting mulched. So you can define this all the way along the pathways just so the mulch doesn't tumble down onto the walkway. Similar how you would define a garden edge. These need a bit of a hand pruning. Don't, don't make them meat balls or round, just kind of hand prune them randomly. Maybe give this a bit of a vertical trim, a bit of globe shape trimming in the lilac there. Maybe a vertical trim on the burning bush. <clears throat> maybe a couple inches off, maybe five, six inches off that uh, top, top there of the burning bush. Uh, give this a bit of a trim, trim there on the uh, burning bush. Maybe uh, just hand yank out the brown grass and that uh, perennial grasses there. Because they weren't, uh, they didn't do a fall clean up here last year. So any of the weeds, there's some just little bits and pieces here and there. So again, to find this. Weeding. Give the artificial turf here a really good clean blow. Give the rocks a good clean blowing. I wouldn't worry too much about any of that. Just weeding. Give this a good uh, leaf blow. Again, to find the edge here, just so it's not falling onto the pathway in here too. Give this a bit of a trim. If the blossoms are done on that bougainvillea, give it a bit of a trim as well. The U could get trimmed, and then a vertical trim all the way up the uh, side of the cedars there. And then when you're done, you'll probably have stuff in the pool, so fish that out. And then the dead wood there in that chap maple. And then just the vertical side of this hedge here, it's getting pruned, and then all the weeding, obviously. And then maybe give this a bit of a trim just so you have access to the patio. And then, uh, yeah, on the front pathway, there's a jap maple that's kind of encroaching on the pathway as well. So you can prune that back. And uh, homeowner's name is Richard. And uh, yeah. Yeah, just maybe prune some of this back just by hand, not with the hedge trimmer, just kind of selectively with the hand snippers. Same thing here, just kind of snip, 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 just to get a bit more space. Maybe give that bit of a topping with just the hand pruners. And then, uh, yeah, so that's the cleanup.